हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पेज फॉल्ट वेलकम हियर एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पेज फॉल्ट विच इज एन इवेंट ओके विच इज एन इवेंट Results in when uh, it results when uh, when the when we access a page that is not bought into the into memory. Okay, so when we are trying to access because we have just learned the demand paging. Okay, demand paging and as and when required. Huh, that is the term that I generally use for this demand paging. And in that uh, we are trying to access a page that is not bought into memory. not in memory and that may result in what page fault okay so and uh, that uh, that page is marked as invalid cause a page fault trap okay invalid causes and uh, it page fault trap so what happens exactly in the paging hardware in translating the address to the page table will notice that invalid bit is set okay and we already know that invalid bit invalid bit set in two ways invalid bit can be set in two ways uh, first is not in logical address space not in logical address space and uh, second is uh, is is not in memory okay so this one is not in memory okay this is not in logical address this is not in memory causing a trap to the operating system okay and the trap is a result of operating system's failure to bring the desired page into the memory okay so it is the failure of what operating system and why it is failing here because it want to minimize uh, minimize um okay minimize uh the 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 disk transfer time the disk transfer swap time the disk transfer swap time so this it want to minimize okay this transfer swap time and also the overheads that it want to minimize okay so that way now uh what is the exact process of handling the page fault now what should be the process so what we need to do here in this case is we have to go one one after another method that first we need to do we we check a, we check an internal table which is a, usually kept the process control block uh, for the process to determine the reference page was a valid or invalid memory access okay so we will first check the uh, the internal table which is in pcb process control block whether the reference was a valid or invalid okay if the reference was invalid then we terminate the process and that is important if it is a in legal or invalid memory access that is not in their invalid memory access then we terminate then we terminate the process okay and if it is a valid but not yet bought into the page we now page it in okay so we have to bring the bring that page into the memory okay so it has to be a, a valid page but not in into into the uh, not in the memory so what we need to do is we have to find a free frame okay and that uh, uh, that must be maintained somewhere uh, like a form of free frame list okay so we'll 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 find a free frame list we'll go to that and we'll find a free frame okay and uh, that uh, frame will be again swap in swap out that we schedule disk operation to read the desired page into newly allocated frame uh, after that what we'll do is we modify the internal table kept for the process table okay now this this steps are uh, is not uh, very in detail here in this case but you understand that these are the these are the consequence that happens okay so we modify the internal table with the process kept uh, and the page table uh, table kept with the process uh, and the page table to indicate the page is now in memory we restart the instruction that was interrupted okay by the illegal address trap okay so now that is the that is the way you know page fault is handled that uh, we find uh, that uh, invalid bit is set fi failure to bring the page into the memory and uh, the reference page was valid or invalid if the reference page was invalid we terminate the process if it is not very important then find a free frame 
and we schedule a disk operation for the desired frame and newly allocated frame. When the disk uh, read is complete, we modify the internal table and then we restart the process. Okay, so that is the how it should be handled, and these are the this is the referenced second is it is invalid so it generate the trap to the operating system operating system goes to the disk and bring the desired or missing page and page frame and then reset the page table and six one is the restart so very beautifully diagrammatically you'll understand that how to handle the page fault in this area, in this situation now pure demand paging a uh, pure demand paging is is a situation where we could uh, uh, that you start the process with no page. Initially, we are what we are doing in demand paging. That initially, uh, we are bring we bring we bought some page. We bought some pages, some page in memory, right? But here, in 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 extreme case, we could start executing a process with no page in the memory. Okay, so let's not bring any page into the memory. Let's start it. So eventually what happens is the when the first reference will come, okay, first reference will come, first reference or first instruction, reference of instruction or data will come, instruction or data will come, okay, and it will just start faulting uh, until the every page it needs into the memory. So first instruction data will start, it will do execute, it, it, it will do the page fault okay so after that then on this page fault will 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 load the or bring the page load the page in memory okay and we'll do for every 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 time every reference okay now you may think that this is not a good idea because in that case what will happen that uh, we we need to for every instruction may cause the page fault and every instruction or every data reference cause the page fault but that is not the case okay so this is a scheme is called as a pure demand paging where we are uh, starting executing a process with no page in the memory so that is your pure demand paging never bring a page until uh, uh, until uh, page until memory never bring a page in memory until it is required Okay, so you may think that it is a it is a bad idea to start with no page in the memory, but the program tend to have a locality of reference. Okay, so program localize itself. Okay, program instruction localize itself. Okay, and that means uh, we are we are having what in this case program localized instruction localize itself means if you are executing I1 high chance that I2 will be there and I3 will be there. So maybe for this instruction I1 we will get the page fault but because we are bringing the entire page not one instruction after another for the remaining instruction there will be no page fault. Okay, so it is not the case that it is entirely very worst or bad idea to start with uh, no page in the memory. It will be not worst uh, as we think because of locality of uh, reference. So hardware support is the same that valid invalid is there that, that is required for the paging. Okay, so that is uh, something that is related with the uh, uh, that is something that is called as a page fault and in page fault what we have learned the new topic is the demand paging and pure demand paging okay pure demand paging okay so i hope you understand this entire discussion very simple and elegant idea behind this and valid invalid is highly used and this diagram is something that covers all Okay, so that's all for this discussion. Thank you.